Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about fluent weight in selenium. If you wanted to understand what are selenium weights and why do we need them, then you can watch my previous video. Now let us understand what fluent weight is. Fluent weight is the third type of selenium weights. It allows to wait for a condition to occur. And the condition is called multiple times with certain frequency until either the time out of the weight is elapsed or the condition becomes true. So either the maximum time out of has to be elapsed or the condition has to become true. Until then, the condition will be verified multiple times with certain frequency. And during the wait, waiting time, right? So we can ignore some specific type of exceptions that which is configurable, such as no such element exception when we are searching for an element on the web page. So this is about free and weight. Now let us see an example on free and weight. So I navigate to a, some URL here. You see that URL, right? So here we have a calendar and you see the selected date, right? We didn't select any date. So something is displayed like no selected dates to display. And as soon as I select some date here, so that date gets displayed here. See, if I select on five, so it gets selected. And if I select on any other date, that date gets selected. Tuesday, Jan 25 and year, right? So this is what we are going to automate it now. And we'll see how to use uh, fluent weight for that, right? And you can see the code here. I have created a class fluent weight demo. You can see here, I have set the binary of the Google Chrome uh, browser here and created an instance of the web driver. Once we launch the browser, we are maximizing the window and then we'll navigate to the particular website. Driver.get, what's the URL? This is the URL we wanted to navigate to, all right, and then what do you want it to do? We want it to find this element text, right? So we, uh, once we click on some date, we wanted to capture this, right? So if we do not select any date, what do we have? No selected dates to display. So let's inspect this element. All right, you can see ID, class, Here, so it, I think we can take ID here, or let's take the help of selector sub here. Yeah, we can take really take path. We'll create a bio object here, selected date by dot x path. find element of selected date. This is what we wanted to find out, right? And let's capture this into some web element. Selected date, I'll call this a selected date before. And we'll actually display that on the console selected date before dot as this is the web element we wanted to extract the text from it get text dot we'll also trim we'll remove the spaces right and once we click on that again we'll display the same uh, what what is displayed for the date right before that we wanted to click on some date right so let's go back let's say for example i wanted to click on some date any date, like I wanted to click on maybe 25. Copy the relative text path again. We wanted to click on that date 25, right? By dot x path dot click. Once we click on that, we wanted to capture the date, right? So we'll get the date, selected date after click, right? After click.
that's it so what did we automate we just navigated to this website we and then whatever has been displayed here selected date so before selecting any date we should see no selected date to display that is here and once we click on some date we are clicking on 25 here in this example so once we click on that we are displaying the text whatever we get it here so that we can actually verify uh, what we are getting if we are getting the expected date or not so this is what we wanted to automate and we have written the code for the same so now let's execute this code and verify what happens yeah navigate it to the website we can see the calendar and you can see it clicked on 25 as well 25 and you see the text has been displayed but if you observe it says no selected dates to display before click that is fine but even after clicking on some date it just displays no selected dates to display so why did this happen is when we clicked on this you see some loader here right so if we click on something else some 25 so you see a loader here right which we call it as a throbber so it is taking some time and only then a te the text the selected date text is being displayed here in the selected date but before that what happens is our code runs and what happens uh, this driver dot find element after the click right so it immediately tries to get the date whatever is present in that web element and we are trying to get the text out of it so we are getting no selected dates to display but it is taking some time the uh, it is taking it is loading for some time right to actually display the date right so that's the reason uh, we are having this issue so how to handle this issue these type of issues is after click we wanted to wait for some time we don't know how much time we wanted to wait so in such cases we can actually go for fluent wait and how to actually use fluent wait so navigate to the selenium official website and search for fluent weight documentation here you see a fluent weight documentation here so this is the example or the code for fluent weight so you can you see a copy icon here just click on that you get it on your clipboard copy the code as is into your code right so this is the fluent weight code now let's actually understand what this means so you can see a weight here uh, weight object created here right so weight is an interface actually and fluent weight is a class which is actually implementing the weight interface so we created a fluent weight instance here you see that here and we passed the web driver object to it you see the timeout here right with timeout this is what we are uh, talking about the maximum timeout right so the maximum timeout here in this example is 30 seconds and the polling every so polling every is the uh, interval of time in which the for which the condition has to be verified so that is five seconds fine and we wanted to ignore some exception some specific type of ex exception that we can specify here so this is the syntax of the fluent weight and then we use this weight object you see here the weight object here right weight object dot until is a function which actually takes a function as parameter you see we defined a function here right so in which you see the apply method which takes web driver object as the parameter and returns the web element and inside that we are actually finding some element which we wanted to actually locate on the web page right and if it is found we are going to return that web element so that's the reason we have the return type as web element and we are capturing that into some web element right so this is the code so i have copied the code from the selenium official documentation as is now we will just modify according to our requirement driver dot find element what's the element we wanted to find right so this is the element selected date right all right so it has to wait for 30 seconds and with a frequency of 5 seconds it has to select the date right now let's execute the code again
all right let's go back and you see again the issue is same so before before click it is says no selected date should display fine but after click also it says no selected date should display this is because if you observe we define the syntax as is fine but if you observe we are trying to find the element so we are trying to find the element which actually exists this is already there so if you observe this is already there right i'm sorry this one the text the find element whatever we located here right so it is actually present there right even before click it was present and after click the element is there so whatever the, if the element is there so what happens it just gets that element and uh, as it is true so we already found the element so the condition is true so then uh, it will not actually uh, wait for uh, 30 seconds right so as the element is found it just comes out of the wait and then it is just displaying whatever is present in that web element locate location right so how to handle this again like uh, in the in such cases we should not be using the syntax as is as because we don't want it to find the web element here we do we know the location of the web element but we wanted to get that web element after some time right so what is the condition here we wanted to wait for some time some loading time and then we wanted to verify some condition what, what the condition we wanted to verify so according to our requirement we'll change it now see first of all we'll modify the return type return type will modify it as boolean and then what we are going to do here is find element of selected date dot get text will trim it dot equals get expected date right so we will actually modify the code if you observe i just modify the return type here from the web element to the boolean and here inside the apply method we are writing the logic to just verify the expected date we we know what's the expected date right so i have created a method here expected date you can see so you do you don't need to bother about this method much so it just uh, you know returns the output in the format whichever we wanted so the format is like this right uh, day of the week then month date which we selected and the year right so in the same way i have created a method here so if you observe local local date actually gives the current date and uh, we are using that uh, local date uh, methods to get the month year and day of week and we are actually formatting it in the way which we wanted right so you just need to modify this date you know prior what date you selected so you just need to modify this number that's all it actually gives us the output the in this way in this format so that what happens is i wanted to actually verify the expected date this is my expected date and this is what i get it on the web page when we run the automation so if these two are equal then we would get the boolean value or uh, we'll get the status as true without any errors right so this is how we modified the code now let's see let's run the code done see this time there are no errors uh, sorry there is no issue see selected date before no selected date should display fine selected date after you see we get the date whatever we are selected right so this is how we should be using the fluent weight so if you observe what did we do let me recap we copied the code fluent weight as is and then we actually modified the return type uh, to boolean it was web element then we just modified it to boolean as we wanted to check some condition right and this condition has become true so we didn't get any error and you see the correct output here right so what happened here was uh, uh, it actually waits this wait right so it actually waits for 30 seconds and with a frequency of 5 seconds it actually verifies this condition to be true and this condition uh, has become true maybe in within 5 seconds or we don't know but within the time 
time out maximum time out of 30 seconds it actually became true this condition so it came out and the next lines of code got executed so this is what happened right and in the same way how we actually modified this uh, uh, return type to boolean from web element we can have any return type here and write our own logic inside this apply method so the only uh, thing you need to remember here is that condition has to actually you know uh, if it actually becomes true or uh, it actually matches uh, your return type then within this specified time timeout then it actually returns uh, true and it actually executes the code successfully or else you'll get some exception here right and coming to this uh, ignore exception right so here we are ignoring some exception right so within this specified time if we get some exception here we are specifically mentioning don't throw that exception is what we are saying here that is what uh, we mean by ignoring some exceptions and here we can have uh, more than one class specified here right no such element exception or element not visible so you can specify more classes here whatever uh, you know exceptions you wanted to ignore we can specify it here like this so this is about the uh, ignoring parameters right and return type we already discussed this return type can be any other return type as well and now coming to the differences between explicit wait and this fluent wait right so both almost seems to be uh, same right but there are some differences as well if you see uh, the maximum timeout exists both for explicit wait and uh, fluent wait but if you observe the polling time we are not able to customize the polling time in explicit wait we know the uh, default polling time was 500 milliseconds but you we are not able to you know modify the time but here we have a choice of modifying the polling time when we use fluent wait and the second difference is we can ignore some specific exceptions here using fluent weight right which we can't do in implicit using uh, explicit weight that's the uh, second difference and if you observe the return type or you know the condition whichever you wanted to verify in explicit weight will always be like uh, finding the element and with some specific condition but with uh, the con values which are or present in the expected conditions as when we use the explicit weight the until function takes the expected conditions as the parameter so we definitely need to use the expected conditions class and there are only list of uh, uh, there are only set of values which are present in the expected conditions and that limits the explicit weight but here we can define our own custom condition when we use the fluent weight so that's the main difference between uh, you know explicit weight and fluent weight and these are the differences between explicit weight and fluent weight and that makes it clear when to use explicit weight and when to use uh, fluent weight right so if you wanted to actually customize the polling time and ignore some specific exception and the main thing if you wanted to uh, have the return type custom return type then go for fluent weight or else you can just uh, use explicit weight as well okay so these are the differences and these this is when we should be using fluent weight and explicit weight right so in this video we have seen like uh, what is fluent weight we have seen an example and how to implement fluent weight we have also covered what are the differences between explicit weight and fluent weight and when to use the uh, fluent weight right so that's all for this video thanks for watching